I'm Greg Uniton, and I'd like to try to answer some questions you might have about a medical malpractice lawsuit. I'd like to talk to you about a condition called a spinal epidural abscess. And unfortunately, we see a lot of cases involving the delayed diagnosis of this condition. A spinal epidural abscess forms as a result of an infection that attacks somebody's spinal vertebrae or the disc space in between their vertebrae. That infection could come in through something as simple as a dental infection or a cut on the hand. But if untreated and this infection of the spine or disc progresses, it could create infectious debris in the tissues surrounding the spine and spinal cord. If that infectious debris grows and all the pus and the phlegm accumulates to such a point, it could get walled off and then start to compress nerves or even the spinal cord itself. Now the reason this condition is so often missed by doctors and hospitals is because the first and most obvious sign is severe back pain. Because so many people have back pain, even severe back pain, and get treated for that condition, the diagnosis tends to get missed. So what are the other signs, the telltale signs that we would want to know to tell us whether or not a case of an epidural abscess may have been missed. Well, first, there are changes in sensation in either the arms or the legs. Conditions such as paresthesias, which involve numbness or tingling of the lower extremities, again, associated with a severe back pain. Another sign is the inability to fully empty the bladder or problems moving the bowels. Bowel and bladder problems are another sign of compression of nerve roots or even the spinal cord itself, especially in the lower back. And another late sign that is very typical for a spinal epidural abscess is the decreased ability to use the arms or the legs, again, from compression of nerve roots or the spinal cord. Now, not every case involving an epidural abscess turns out to be a medical malpractice lawsuit. Fortunately, there is treatment, IV antibiotics for one, and also surgical evacuation. But if the diagnosis is not made in a timely manner, there can be permanent neurological injuries, such as the inability to regain function of the arms or the legs or function of the bowel or bladder. So that's why when we're analyzing a case, we need to know the timing of every symptom, of every visit to the doctor's office or the emergency department or the hospital with complaints about back pain or decreased sensation, paresthesias, bowel or bladder problems. If there's anything we could do, we always offer free evaluations and investigations into potential medical malpractice cases like these.